Economic inequality is an outcome. Economic inequality per se doesn't make institu uh, a, a system inclusive or extractive. The problem is that there are certain key characteristics that are necessary for inclusiveness. And two that are crucial is equality of opportunity, a level playing field. If you don't have that, you don't give opportunities to a large fraction of your society to take part in economic activities. And second, political equality, so that politically everybody has a voice so that the system doesn't become monopolized and captured by a small minority. So in that context, my biggest fear with economic inequality is not itself, but what it implies. Economic inequality makes it much easier for political inequality to set in. So if you look at it, for example, in the context of the US, we've had a huge increase in economic inequality. But what would worry me much more from the viewpoint of this book and our research is that that has also started being associated with political inequality. The American democracy that was sort of mythically, but also in reality, very open, and it listened to the voice of the average person is now viewed as captured by many people. And there is some truth, quite a bit of truth to that, not only because of the super PACs, which is a recent in, in, in invention, but because of lobbying campaign contributions and who actually gets their voice with their senators, congressmen, and the president. And I think that sort of political inequality is the problem. And when you look at historical examples of great civilizations that have collapsed, uh, and if there are more questions on this, I can come back to that. The, the way that has happened, or at least the ones that we have studied, is always it starts with, from the politics. First, political inequality sets in, and that political inequality starts changing the uh, equality of opportunity, the level playing field, uh, erecting barriers against some people, not allowing them to sell their labor or to do what they want to do, and then economic decline sets in.